really is quite a sight to behold this. It feels like a big game, it looks like a big game. Mind you, they all do at this ground. And already we're underway here. Mbappe has a look and has a go. Decent hit and on target. Nicely weighted ball. Alexander-Arnold calmly anticipates. That's headed upfield. Oh, 2022, the year Lionel Messi reached his points of fulfilment. The jewel in the crown, Peter. And I wonder, Jim, watching it in Qatar, when you first got the feeling he was going to go all the way. Well, I would say the game against Croatia, a goal and an assist against a team that had humiliated Argentina four years previously. And that 2022 tournament got off to the worst possible start. In a way, that made the end result even greater. Fate in a way. Absolutely. Oh dear, less said about that pass, the better. Vinicius Junior. Oh, well played, well sorted out. And it's Hullet. Argentina still without a single shot. Tries a shot! Oh, he gave that and... Beckenbauer. Yamal. Ribéry. Now to play for a throw. Oh, terrible pass. Oh, that's a fine interception. Cafu. And the pass is intercepted. He's gone forward. Nicked it back promptly. And that's a throw. -in. And it's managed to gift it back. Ribéry. Mbappé! Can he finish? Goal! Oh, in front! Barcelona clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Oh, well played, well played. Barcelona have really been terrific at snuffing out the threat. Now for something different. And it's Messi. Argentina truly have no need to panic. They can reassess at half-time. Some resolute defending there. Looking for the run. Uh, that pass has been well intercepted. Oh, that's well spotted. Uh, it's a sweet ball, that. Oh, easy pickings there. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. Now it's Mbappe. There will be one minute added time. Now, what about a counter-attack? And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, it's a half which has uh, simmered along nicely. We need to. That gets things going for the second half. Argentina don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their set-up foot. He's been side down. Is that a penalty? Uh, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. That's a fine save. And the goalkeeper's got a good palm to that. He's had a hit! And yes, it's there! Well, that's something that will make the manager against him little matter. Well, at one stage, he was being body-checked, Peter, and then the next minute, it's in the back of the net. That's wonderful striking. Argentina grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Pull it. 
Argentina have clearly reached a level of comfort in this half. Why not use the impetus to, to plow on? Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. The attendance for this Forlan. match was 72. And the counter is on. Well, that looks a decent ball. Just the goalkeeper to beat. That is a crunching tackle. Messi, number 20, Vinicius Junior, number 40. Climbs up Forlan. big! Forlan. Good try. Now come could so easily have been different. Coming on the field, number 24. Argentina are, of course, in a position to go to the bench should they need a rise. That is a little undercooked. Substitution in progress. Son Hyung Min. That has been cut short. He steps in, and that's the end of that. Haaland, Fernando Torres. Oh, he's in! The press oh, shooting chance! Goal, Argentina! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Sheer bloody-mindedness.